Peter McKinnon is an overrated photographer. Let me preface this by saying that I don't think I'm the best. I know I have my good photos, I know I have my bad photos, but I do know enough about photography to know that his photography is overrated. Don't get me wrong, I respect him. He's a great storyteller and a great videographer. He built the following that he has for a reason. Hell, I even applied to work with him. But when you're that large, command the attention that you do, and have a following of millions that look up to you, there's gotta be some sort of accountability. Recently, Peter McKinnon posted this photo. It's very dark, it's boring, the focal point is a rock in the middle, the colors are muddy, it's just not a great photo. If I were to post the exact same photo, probably wouldn't even get a second look. And here's where I have an issue. It's in the comments section. Check this out. Here are some of the top comments on that post. Dude, so epic. All the feels are here, three flames. Dramatic AF, two flames. Straight fire, one flame. This is so cool, flame emoji, flame emojis. People praise anything and everything that he does. Why? Because he is who he is? Are you hoping that your three flame emojis will get recognized by him and he'll say, oh, I really wanna work with you and put you on the map as a photographer? Why is there no accountability for the people we look up to to produce high quality work? They can put out anything, they can put out junk. And the other side to that coin is, if and when they're not putting high quality work out, why is there no accountability? Why isn't anybody saying anything? Why does nobody say, hey man, not your best work? You know, where's that constructive feedback? Is that solely for small creators and people who run businesses where the client isn't happy? As consumers of his content, we are the client. Why is everybody kissing his ass to tell him how good things are, when in reality, they're not always good? Here's what irks me a little bit. On that specific photo I showed you, I commented, why are we so quick to praise mediocrity? And he immediately deleted it. You know, as someone that big and that good at what you do, as uh, you know, an industry leader, as someone that people look up to, can you not handle criticism? Is your ego too big to you know, say, yeah, maybe this guy's right? Now I'm sure the fanboys and fangirls of Peter McKinnon are gonna come at me in the comments for feeling this way, but hang on a second. Take a second look at the picture. Remove the name and who took the picture from it. Can you honestly actually say that you would hang this photo in your house? I bet you can find or already know of hundreds of smaller creators and photographers who are producing consistently better work that you'd be way more inclined to hang in your house before a lot of the pictures that Peter McKinnon posts on his feed. And for the record, I know this whole photography game is about community and building friendships and shooting together. I'm all for that. I have a lot of photographer friends. I love going out and shooting with them. I'm not trying to divide people or anything like that. What I'm trying to say is that I have a higher standard for people who are at the forefront of this industry, of these communities, of these creators. The people that you look up to should be producing work that you look up to. We shouldn't be praising mediocre work. We shouldn't be praising bad photos like it's God's gift to photography. Imagine being in art school and going to a portrait drawing class. Your teacher walks up to the front of the class and on the board draws a stick figure and says, we're gonna teach you how to draw amazing portraits just like this one. You'd laugh your teacher right out of the room. But for some reason that doesn't happen with him because what, he's got 5 million followers? Honestly, I'm open to discussion. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. If you're gonna be an internet bully, that's fine too, but just back it up. If you have something to say and I'm wrong and you wanna throw shots at me, great, but just back it up. If you have a valid point for why what I'm saying doesn't make sense, I'd love to hear it. Don't be an asshole though. Thanks for listening to my rant and watching my videos. I'll see you in the next one, or I, I guess in the comments section.